What is going on, Ecamm fam? I'm here to give you a quick tip. If you are like me, you have recently upgraded your laptop to one of the latest M1 chips, whether it's just an M1, the M1 Pro, the M1 Pro Max, or you have splurged and purchased the M1, uh, the Mac Studio, and you're looking to find a seamless way to take all of the hard work that you've put into Ecamm Live, like your scenes, your overlays, your text, your widgets, all of that good stuff, and you want a quick and simple way to bring that into your new device that you've upgraded to or you're thinking about upgrading to. Taking advantage of Ecamm Live's profile features helps you do exactly that, and I'm gonna get straight into showing you how to do that. I've opened up live demo mode and you're gonna look at your menu options along the top. We're gonna to click on where it says profile and you have your export current profile. So we're gonna export the current profile. It's gonna open up a finder window and then that's where you're going to choose where you want to save that file. Before we do that, I do wanna give you two different recommendations. The first recommendation that I wanna give you is I would absolutely tell you to export your profile to an external device, whether it is an external hard drive, SSD drive, an external flash drive, or even an SD card. Somewhere where you can take your hard drive, plug it into your new computer, and then import the profiles into your new computer, right? That's option one. The other option that I would absolutely recommend that you get into the habit of doing is creating a weekly backup of your Ecamm Live profiles. Some people may say that weekly is too much work. Weekly, every other week, at minimum, please, 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 back it up at least once a month. And remember to create a backup whenever you've made some changes by maybe adding new scenes and adding new overlays so that you can always have this saved continuously. So that's one tip, or I gave you two tips. The other tip is to save this backup onto your iCloud drive. As Mac, Apple, OS user, iOS users, we automatically get a default amount of iCloud drive storage so that when you buy a new iCloud, a new Apple device, it's gonna automatically show up on here. No logging in, none of that stuff. It's there for you. And that's the option that I'm gonna show you to do today. So let's turn live demo mode back on. And what I'm going to choose is I'm gonna select iCloud drive on the left-hand side and I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm actually going to label this Ecamm Profile Backups. Backups. Create. You have some options on the bottom, include stream size, frame rate, aspect, and quality. I'm just gonna hit export. And now it's done exporting. So, the next piece is to move on to your new computer. In my case, it's my M1 Pro, the 14 inch MacBook Pro, and we're going to import that into the new computer. I have gone ahead and opened up NDI, so I'm bringing in my MacBook Pro's computer screen via NDI to Ecamm Live. So you're looking at the M1, the new chip, and the first thing I want you to know is that we do not need to open up Ecamm Live to do this. I am gonna open up Ecamm Live because I want to show you that I have a fresh copy of Ecamm Live. And if we look at the scenes window over here that I'm moving around, you can see that I have zero scenes. If I open up my overlays, I have no overlays on here, right? So it is a blank, copy of Ecamm Live altogether. I'm gonna Command Q and I'm going to quit that. So we do not have Ecamm Live open at all. What I'm going to open up is the Finder window. I'm gonna go to my iCloud Drive and I'm gonna click on the folder that we created called Ecamm Live Profile Backups. You can see there, 
it says default show and all you want to do is double click on that as soon as you double click on that it's going to open up ecamm live for you and start exporting or importing everything over into your new computer once it's done you can see that there's a message on the screen and it says profile imported default show has been successfully imported and activated use the profile menu at the top of the screen to switch profiles so i'm going to hit ok I'm gonna open up my overlays and my scenes, but check this out. Before, we had no scenes, and these are all my scenes that I had from my Mac Mini. The same thing with my overlays. If I click on, let's say this is my Buy Me A Coffee widget, that came over. I have a copy of the Ecamm Live logo, that came over, and let's look at some scenes that we have here. So if I do my 100 days of live streaming, my countdown timer, and all I have to do is just bring my camera in, and we are good to go. Select my camera again, whichever camera you want to use, and that is it. Quick and simple and to the point, I literally clicked a few buttons. If we count it, it was Ecamm Live, Profile, Export Current Profile, Choose the Location, Switch Over to Your Mac, Open Up a Folder Window, Figure Out Where You Want to Save, Where You Have Your Saved File At, Double Click, and that's it. So in under 10 steps, in under 10 steps, eight if I did the math right, I imported a ton of scenes and overlays and music and all of my good stuff into Ecamm Live. And what's really great about that is that now I have my full backup on my MacBook completely. And so I don't have to worry about where I'm going to stream from because I have my Ecamm Live perfect and good to go. I hope that you found this useful. Let me know in the comments, did it work? Have you upgraded? Did you purchase the uh, new Mac Studio? Cause I'm jealous. And thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Catch you guys on the next one.